Good afternoon, everyone. This is Ramona coming to you from Social Media How To's with Ramona. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change or remove page roles in Facebook's new page experience. The first thing you want to do is log into your Facebook account. By default, you will be on your news feed. In the upper right hand corner, click on your face or your logo. Click on See All Profiles. Scroll down to the page that you want to manage. Click on that page. Now, once you're in the new page experience, you will notice that the new page experience has a news feed, much like your personal profile. What you want to do is over on the left, click on the name of your page. This will bring you into your new page experience. Over on the left, go ahead and click on Professional Dashboard. Once you're in your Professional Dashboard, look to the left side panel and click on Page Access. This will bring you to your new pages experience page access. Move your mouse to the right of the person that you want to remove or change. Click on the three dots. Click on Change Access Level. This will give you a change access level dialog box, which says task access means you can't switch into the page on Facebook, but they can manage specific tasks using other tools like Meta Business Suite or Creator Studio. This will also give you a link that says view tools. If you want, you can go ahead and click on that. When you click on View Tools, it will bring you to a page that says About Task Access for New Pages. Now you can scroll through this page and learn about the different tools, Creator Studio Mobile, Creator Studio, Meta Business Suite, Business Manager, and Ads Manager. That may answer some of the questions that I've been receiving in my YouTube comments regarding Facebook's new page experience. Let's go back over to Facebook Page Access. The next thing it says is that any actions you take as this page may be visible to anyone else who manages it. Then if you notice, there's also a learn more about task access link. If you clicked on view tools, you really don't have to click on learn more about task access because it's going to take you to the exact same page. So let's go ahead and click on the blue next button. And what this does is it shows you what access your page manager has. You see, you can turn on the different buttons. And if you're familiar with the former page roles on Facebook, you'll also notice that this is quite different. So make sure that you read each of these. Um, you can give people access to content, messages, community activity, and insights on the new page experience. If you give them access to content, they will be able to create, manage, or delete posts, stories, and more as the page. If you give them access to messages, they can respond to direct messages as the page. If you give them access to community activity, they may review and respond to comments, remove unwanted comments, and report activity. If you give them access to ads, they will be able to create, manage, and delete ads for the page. And if you give them access to insights, they can see how the page content and ads perform. So for this particular person, she is actually not working for me at the moment, but I don't want to update the access for her. Even though what I'll do is I will click on the blue toggle to remove access for insights. If the person begins to work for me again, I can come in and click any of these buttons and give her access to any of this stuff at any time. As you can see, when I clicked on content, it actually gave her automatically access to messages. If you notice, when I turned off all of the buttons, the update access blue button is no longer active. So I'm assuming that you at least have to give them access to something. So I'm going to go ahead and click back on insights and then click on update access. After you've clicked on update access, it's going to ask you to enter your password. So if you're managing someone else's page and you're in here changing their page access, it's going to be the password of the 
personal profile that you logged in with. Yes, very confusing, but it is Facebook. So you're going to put in your password if you're actually logged into your Facebook account, but managing someone else's page. If you logged into the client's personal Facebook account, you will enter their password. So just remember that. Go ahead and enter the password and click on the blue confirm button and I will meet you back here. Once you've clicked on that, a little box popped up in the bottom left hand corner. You may or may not have seen it. It said her task access level had been changed. Just one last thing before we go. I want to show you how to actually remove the person from your page if you need to remove someone. So once you're back on your new pages experience page, go ahead and click on the three dots. And as you can see, since we've changed her access level, there's a new pencil that says edit task. I didn't realize this was going to show up, but I'm going to go ahead and click on edit task just to see what that is. And it just brings you back to where we were. So in order to remove the place, click on the three dots and then click on remove access. After you've clicked on remove access, it's going to bring you to a remove access dialog box and it will state this person will no longer have access to the page. Any content that any content they created or actions they took will remain on the page. For your security, enter your password. So once again, as I stated previously, this is going to be the password of the page that you're logged into. So go ahead and put the password in and click on the blue confirm button. After you've clicked on the blue confirm button, this will bring you right back to the new pages experience and you're all done. So that's it. That's how you change page access in the new pages experience. So once again, this is Ramona from Social Media How To's with Ramona. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that you will receive notifications each time I post a new video. And with that, I want to say have an amazing day.